morning. What time is it, Andy? Uh, whatever time it is, it's at five minutes in a bit. <laughs> five? Hello. You right? This is the second time this has happened. Luckily, Tobias has been here to chat to me while yeah, I wait uh, for well, you. I'm, I'm very glad of that. I, you know, <laughs> Why are you making a noise? Huh? There's an alarm going off or something. Oh, shit. <laughs> So Andy Edwards, the man that makes fun of me every single time we go out riding that I haven't got a winter bike with mudguards on it has turned up to this ride with a Colnago C64 C64? 65? 60. C60 It's not even the best one and he ain't got mudguards on My winter bike frame cracked last week Yeah, yeah Seriously? I actually did <laughs> Can this is? Yeah, it cracked Once I actually cleaned it I can see there's a crack Because usually you don't have to clean it because you got mud guards on, right? Exactly. So it doesn't actually get dirty. Is that how it works? Pretty much. So sadly today, in the middle of winter, I'm on this. Although I have got 25 mil four season tires on. Have you cleaned that? And winter rims. Mostly. The chain looks That's a bit. That's the great thing about having it's black, a black, isn't it? No, the chain is fine. Is it one of those black chains you can get? You're mean. I'm mean. I'm not mean. Let's keep going to Windsor. Coffee. No bun. I ate a lot yesterday. My upper body hurts more than it ever has. I feel like I've done a gym session <laughs> after the mountain bike ride yesterday. To be honest, I don't really know what a gym session feels like because it's been that long since I had one of them as well. I'm missing the gym. You're missing the gym? Yeah, it's good for you. you you've, know, been, so you've been to a gym? I used to go to the gym, yeah. yeah huh. Used to be a bodybuilder. No. <laughs> Almost made it to Windsor now. I've got to admit, I forgot to bring ride food and I'm feeling a little bit, like a little bit wobbly. <laughs> I may have had to borrow an energy bar from Andy. That's never happened before. I blame Stuart Spees. <laughs> Cheers, Andy. I feel miserable. <laughs> I'll give you a hug, but we can't. It's kind of funny. Which bit? It looks like cow's udders. It is. You never see under my jersey. I've got udders. You've got to have to cover them up. Yeah, well, it's embarrassing, isn't it? People don't want to see my udders. So we've left our cafe stop very quickly because even though cafes are still open, the UK is still in a bit of a lockdown. So quick hello to some people and then we had to go. Annoyingly, that's a bit of a hot spot for uh, photographers trying to catch people not social distancing, even if they are, but they use zoom lenses. We all know about that. So uh, yeah, you taking a selfie <laughs> of me taking a selfie. Yes. Ooh. I'm just trying to influence people, you know? This what are you going to influence them to do, Andy? <laughs> um, ride in zone two. Ride in zone two in winter with mud guards. Except when your winter bike is knackered and then you don't. Right, we're going to ride home nice and steady. Zone two. I might actually speak about zone two a little bit in today's video because I've learned some interesting stuff. Ken's been setting me some zone two and there are way more benefits to riding in zone two than you realize. Now, this is the really important thing, right? Because people just think you do the whole ride in zone two and then that's it and then you don't do anything else. It is okay to sprint for a sound town sign, usually towards the end. It's okay to do a little bit of through and off, usually towards the end, raise the pace a bit but you just gotta be sensible. Most of the ride is in zone two, but there's some flexibility around that. It's not like some, you know. You can sprint. Rule. Me? Yeah. Occasionally. I have won a race from a bunch sprint, you know. I can see. It was a Surrey League handicap, but it, it was a race nonetheless. Were they just catching you as you crossed the line? No. <laughs> So Ken has been setting me a lot of training in zone two, or the fat burning zone as you might have heard it be called. Essentially it's a steady low intensity that you can do training rides in using either your heart rate or power meter. It's the kind of effort you can still hold a conversation while maintaining. So it can be done in a social context, which is good, but also traditionally base miles have been done in zone two. But laying down a base fitness isn't the only thing it's good for. 
it actually has a multitude of benefits. Now in terms of energy stores, training your body to burn fat is a really good thing to do. It's more efficient, you have a pretty much unlimited store of fat in your body, and essentially the more you train in zone two, the more efficient you become. So you're using a higher proportion of fat rather than carbohydrate as fuel while you're doing those steady efforts. Now that also counts for all the time that you're in an event or a race or a ride when you're in those zones. So you're saving your carbohydrate stores or your glycogen stores, and you can use them later on in your event where you're probably gonna have to do some hard efforts, whether it's a town sign sprint or whether it's an effort at the top of a mountain. Those hard efforts, you'll be exclusively using carbohydrate as a fuel. But that's not the only thing training in zone two does. Now, a couple of episodes back, I did a lactate threshold test. The higher your lactate threshold is, the better your body is at clearing lactate, not letting it accumulate and therefore fatiguing you because of the byproducts that it causes. If you want more information on this, I'll put a link down below to that video because Ken explains it better than I ever could. But Here's where it's relevant to zone two. Training in zone two activates type one muscle fibers, so slow twitch muscle fibers, and those muscle fibers are instrumental in clearing your lactate. So you're essentially raising your threshold as well. Obviously, it's not the most time efficient way of training. If you do want to raise your threshold, you wanna be doing some harder efforts too, but the bang for buck you get riding in zone two, which is, as I said earlier, social, easy to deal with, easy to recover from. It's a thing that athletes should be doing, even all the way right up to their event and in the racing season. It's not just base miles uh, as tradition would have you believe. Now it is dark, I need to do some video editing. I'm absolutely smashed. I wasn't exaggerating earlier, I feel like I've done a gym session. My, um, my arms are sore, my hands are sore. I need to put some work in because if three or four hours on the mountain bike is doing that to me, well I've got to do it eight days in a row. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will leave you with some footage that Stu sent me from his GoPro of me on the mountain bike. This was actually the first proper trail we hit. So yeah, be kind.